Sauteing is a great way to cook fish, as the high heat helps lock in moisture, leading to a tender filet. You can use this method to cook a variety of different seafood. Today, we'll be preparing some mahi-mahi. Mahi-mahi is a popular Hawaiian fish with a delicate flavor profile that isn't too overpowering. If your seafood is frozen, make sure to thaw it in the refrigerator overnight or place it in cold water, still in the packaging, for around 30 minutes. First, pat down the filet with a paper towel to dry it. Then, brush the filet with olive oil and season it with salt and pepper. Now let's heat up the pan. Turn your burner to between medium and high and wait for the pan to heat up for around a minute. One trick to test if the pan is hot enough is to add a few drops of water. If the water beads up and evaporates, you're ready to go. Add enough oil to cover the surface of the pan. We recommend canola oil as it has a high smoke point and the flavor won't overpower the dish. The key here is to have the pan hot enough that we create a quick sear that will lock in the moisture. Once your pan is hot enough, add the filet and saute each side of the filet depending on its thickness. A good rule of thumb is to plan on about six minutes per inch in thickness. This means a one inch filet should get cooked a total of six minutes. Three minutes on one side and three minutes on the other. Turn the filet over to see if the filet has a nice brown finish. If it does, cook the other side for another three to four minutes or until the internal temperature of the filet reaches 145 degrees. Then you're done. Remove the filet from the pan and let it sit for five minutes before eating. Squeeze over some lemon or use your favorite sauce. We'll be using a creamy basil aioli. Toss one cup of mayonnaise into a bowl along with a handful of fresh chopped basil or two tablespoons of dried basil, and a tablespoon of lemon juice. Mix together and spoon over your filet. Your last step is to enjoy.